Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jo and this is Aussie Homeschool Adventures. Thanks for joining us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. For today, I've got a collection of books. I have discovered that Kmart lately have been stocking an amazing range of kids books. Um, these are all mostly non-fiction books. So I've been stocking up on resources for our homeschool library. Having had libraries shut and things like that, I've been finding it just nice to have a good supply of information books that are bright and colourful, age appropriate for my girls that are both nine, or nearly nine, and seven. So I've been stocking up on books from Kmart. There's a couple from little local bookstores, Big W, but these are mostly... Yeah, mostly from Kmart and they've all been really well priced. So for today's video, I'm just going to show you the pile of books that I've bought, give you a little flick through some of them and yeah. I hope you stick around, check out the video if you like this one. Um, there's other links below. I've got another book haul that I did a few months ago. I may have a little bit of a book obsession. Um, curriculum videos and things like that. So. Yeah, if you like what you see, give this video a big thumbs up. Like I said before, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get started on the books. All right, so this is just a little sneaky peek of some of, well, of the books that I'm going to show you. And then I'll um, take you through each one individually. So let's just move these ones aside. We'll start with these two. So these came from Big W. So this one is called Her Story. 50 women and girls who shook the world. I saw this and I was like, oh, it's fantastic. Having got two daughters, I thought this was a really cool book. So I won't take you through all of it. I'll just give you a little flick. So there's some really cool women in here, women of colour and other women. And they've just done, yeah, doing, that have done different things. So I haven't actually read all of it yet. Um, we haven't started looking at it, but dating back to like ancient Egypt times, which I thought was really cool. Just different women. There's more modern ones like, you know, Billie Holiday and yeah. Florence Nightingale. So yes, I think this is really cool to encourage and remind my girls that they can shake this world. So that's her story. I have this one. This one was recommended by a lady on Instagram um, for our Australian history. So we can start looking at this. We might start it this year or we might hold it off until next year. So it's the Upside Down History of Down Under by Terry Denton and Alison Lloyd. So this looks really good too. It's just short. Um, Seems to be fairly factually correct, but it's done in story format, so it's Charlotte Mason-esque, I guess. We'll certainly use this as part of our Australian history study, so I'm looking forward to reading that one with my girls. Yeah, this one came from, pretty sure it was Book Depository. Oh, so this is the one I've been using for our Australian Geography unit. I like this story. It's beautiful. Pictures are gorgeous, so it's just their journey of traveling around Australia. So we've been using this more or less as our Charlotte Mason geography spine. So yeah, I'll just show you one of the pages. The illustrations are beautiful and it's just a really nice, simple story. So this one is from a little local bookshop here in my local area. So this one's about Australia. It's a little evolutionary for me as a Christian, but apart from that, it's not too bad. And I can, um, we talk about evolution as something that people believe in. It's just not necessarily something that I choose to believe in. Um, I will teach my girls about it and we'll teach them about creation as well. And they can um, make their own decisions as they grow. So this book I thought was a really beautiful book. It goes back to talking about Australian histories and different Australian plants and animals and things that really make our country unique to the rest of the world. So yeah, this one was also someone shared about on Instagram and I was like, mm, must get that book. 
these ones came from Kmart only the other day and they are so beautiful. So they're Lonely Planet, which I thought was really cool. I didn't realize they were making books for kids. So these actually fold out. So it's huge. And then within each little bit, so it folds out. And then I'll get this one. They fold up little, little fold up bits, fold out, pop up, not pop up, some, yeah. I don't know. Little pockets of information that are all like hidden flaps and stuff. Lift the flap, I guess. So yeah, absolutely stunning. I love the mix of um, like you can see the illustrations mostly here, and then there is like over here that's an actual photograph of a an actual size of a bear claw, which is like yeah, that's kind of freaky, but cool at the same time. So that's that one. It's the Animal Atlas. It's so beautiful. And then in the same vein, they've done a travel book. So this one goes all around the world. I thought this one was really nice too. Once again, a beautiful mix of real photos and illustrations. And it just gives a whole bunch of different facts about a whole pile of different countries around the world. So really great for our geography studies and things like that. So yeah, these ones I think were about $12 from Kmart. Um, oh, this one was about $30 from the bookshop. That one was about 30. I think this one was about 15 from Big Dub. And that one was about the same, about 10 to $15 from Big W. This one I'm pretty sure I got from Kmart. So this is answers and questions about the solar system. So once again, just a, a non-fiction book lots of fun pictures and information that's easy and fun to read pretty sure it was about five dollars maybe ten these ones are an absolute bargain so i got three of these from kmart just the other day so dk finds out there's earth bugs and animals and they were five dollars and they are beautiful and they've got beautiful glossy pages stunning photos a good amount of information and easy to read and yeah just a really nice book for five dollars so that's animals earth so structure of the earth and volcanoes caves it covers a huge range of topics weather so these will be great for our science studies over the next couple of years earth and then yeah bugs Planning on doing our mini beast unit sometime in the next couple of weeks. So, this one will be perfect for that. And then this beautiful one this is Osborne. I love Osborne books if I can get my hands on these. I don't remember if I got this one from Kmart or from the bookshop. I'm pretty sure it was Kmart and I think it was $12. So, another one just for our geography studies different countries and little snippets of information about them and things like that so absolutely beautiful and the last one this one I definitely got from Kmart you can get it from other places but Kmart was the cheapest and I think it was $15 and this one is beautiful too my girls love animals so this has a great amount of information it covers animals not just from America, and there also are some Australian animals and other countries in here as well. And once again, it has a beautiful mix of like photos, and then there are a few illustrations. So that's this one. Yeah, the Encyclopedia of Animals, also from Kmart. All right, so that's it for today's video. Just a quick flick through of those books if you've got any questions if there's any of those books that you'd like me to do a more in-depth look through let me know in the comments section down below otherwise hit that subscribe button stick around for more great homeschooling content 
Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time. Bye!